So I bet many of you are probably missing going to a live sporting event. So today I'm going to show you what it's like to go to a British basketball league game during the pandemic and the procedures that go in place. So I've now arrived at Surrey Sports Park. It's time to take precautions. So this would be the normal entrance that you would come for fans, players, spectators, but obviously under COVID-19 precautions, we got to go a different route. So before entering the building, I must have the temperature taken. All good. What are you here for again? Uh, sorry, Scorchers. Yeah, are you? Uh, bet BTT. I'm the star point guard. <laughs> I'm not sure. That was a piss take. Yeah, I thought so. There it is. Look who's just entered! Oh yes! Now, Caitlin actually came to university with me. What he doesn't tell people is that... Caitlin, who used to give you buckets? You could shoot a little bit, but I don't know... <laughs> A little beast? Oh, that is disrespectful, that dog. exciting game right it was great to watch it's always an exciting game it's always it's, it's always good to i hope lots of people at home watched it and were excited by it because um, it's what british basketball should be about about excitement so it was a tough game and james valley played us played us really well so it's just about today now it's just about bouncing bouncing back to championship and trying to climb that table for us so i'm a little bit hungry right now i've got to have some food but not a bad place to sit Players are warming up. Get ready for game. There's the Bristol Flyers. Eight time, but more importantly, dinner time. So now we got both teams warming up, preparing for a very, very big game. Bristol Flyers probably not off to a good start that they would have wanted. It's a very good team that could achieve very high. And sorry, Scorchers, of course, in desperate need of some more victories. But this is what it looks like with no spectators at Surrey Sports Park. And you know, if you've been here before, you know this place can be absolutely jam packed, and the noise here is absolutely electrifying. But I'm sat in the corner. And I must stay in this corner at all times during the game because of COVID procedures, coaches, there's a social distancing between the benches, and that's pretty much it. And my job will be at halftime, obviously, to take part in the halftime show that's created by Tom Bonnet. Tom Bonnet's done an excellent job. But as you can see, it's a very, very different experience. Maintaining social distancing is a very, very big thing. But at the end of the day, it's great to have BBL basketball back home. It's no doubt that the Surrey Scorchers have struggled this season, but you know, they've made a couple of player changes. Best of luck to those players going on to future careers and future teams. But, you know, morale has been a big thing so far here at Surrey and Coach Creon's working really hard with the players to try and improve that morale. But, you know, so far the transition game, how they're playing together has improved. But, you know, at the end of the day, they got to try and keep getting W's down and keep improving game by game. And uh, well, right now it is going to be halftime. So this is where I come in to do the halftime show with Gavin Baker and the infamous Tom Bonnet. All right, so now it's halftime. This is where Tom Bonnet, the master of the operation, goes to work. And I'm with a legend right now. Who's 
who don't know, this is one of the star players of the BBL in the 90s. This is Dan Hildreth. I was an eight, nine year old kid watching Dan Hildreth play basketball. Absolute legend of a player. We've got to make sure we take the right number of microphones as well. Oh. This is where we do the tests. We've got Gav, we've got Tom, we've got Dan, we've got legends everywhere. The um, Bristol Flyers play the Spanish pick and roll. So when they set that pick, there's also another back screen for the guys setting the pick, which is usually Del Pesh. And the Flyers, are, the Flyers have struggled so far because there's been so much overhelp side defense from the Scorchers. But for a team like the Flyers, a lot of people will say that Ben Motford does shoot the ball quite a lot. And maybe you know, he might see him go 3 for 12, 4 for 15. This could be a second half that he could go 5 for 5. So they've got to make sure that they put a lot of pressure on the backcourt and stop players like Motford catching fire. <laughs> So Scorchers are down by three with 3.6 seconds left. Okay. Take that as a yes though. Gav, OT. We gotta put it in hands up. We gotta put it in the hands up. Oh, again. So we're about to resume play, but Andreas calls timeout again. So score is 90 to the Flyers, 87 to the score, just 3.6 seconds left. Another timeout. Bristol's a good team, you gotta credit them. But you know, a lot of positives you gotta take from the score, just play. You know, there's a bit more grit about the team, there's a bit more desire, there's a bit more hunger in the team, we've seen that. Now the game plan today was how do we defend the Spanish pick and roll? That's been Creon's biggest thing. How do we stop them from getting these wide open looks on the perimeter? How do we stop the big players? And you know what, credit to the Scorchers, they did that pretty much to the very end of the fourth quarter. And you know, a close game, 90 to 87, it could have gone either way, but it was just a few little mistakes at the end defending those pick and rolls that led to some few wide open shots. But you know, credit to Tony Hicks, that was one hell of an MVP performance he put on today. Guys, thank you so much for your time. And that is all from us. Uh, Scorch is coming away with a defeat, unfortunately, today. But we're back in action next week. We're back on Sky Sports on Friday evening as we travel to the Manchester Giants. And we're back on BBL Player on Saturday night as we host the Worcester Wolves here at SSP. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. So that is the ball game. Scorch is unable to get the victory. Credit to the Bristol Flyers, but that's it. I'm on my way home. This is what the experience is like when you come to a BBL game in the COVID world of, or the world of COVID-19, sorry. I'm out.